In this skill, we're going to practice both finding the names of ionic compounds from their formulae and finding the formula of ionic compound from its name. So in this question, we have a formula provided, SRBR2, and we want to find the name of this ionic compound. So let's head to our periodic table and find out what the names of those elements are. So first I'm looking for SR. Here's SR. And we can see the name of our element there is strontium. So strontium is our first element. The other one was BR, which we're looking over at the right. Here's BR. And we can see the name underneath. BR is bromine. So we've got strontium and bromine. So strontium and bromine. When we're doing the name of the ionic compound, we want to have the metal first and then the non-metal. So let's just check. Strontium, that was on the left-hand side. That's our metal. Bromine is on the top right side of the periodic table. So that's our non-metal. So we have the correct order now. The only thing left to do is we need to change the ending of the non-metal to "-ide." So we're going to get rid of the "-ene ending." And we're going to change that to "-ide." So there's our name for our, our ionic compound. We have strontium bromide. Now in this question, we are given the name of our ionic compound, aluminium sulfide, and we're trying to find the formula. So let's go to our periodic table and find aluminium and sulfur. So first aluminium. Aluminium is over here. So aluminium is in group 13. And that means it's going to form a three plus iron according to our shortcut. And our other element was sulfur for sulfide. So let's find sulfur. Here's sulfur. Sulfur is in group 16, which means it's going to form a two minus iron. So we've got aluminium three plus and sulfur two minus. So let's write those down. We've got aluminium three plus and sulfur two minus. Remember our goal is to have a net charge equal to zero. So right now we have three plus and two minus. So overall we have a positive charge. So let's add some more negative charge, which would be sulfur. Now we've got three plus and overall four minus on our sulfur. So we've got too much negative now. So let's add another positive, another aluminium iron. So now we've got six plus overall on our aluminiums, four minus overall on our sulfurs. Let's add one more sulfur since we've got too much positive now. And let's check now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six positive on our aluminiums and one, two, three, four, five, six positive on our sulfurs. So here we have six plus and six minus. And if we check six minus six, that is equal to zero. We have a net charge of zero. So we've got two aluminium ions and three sulfur ions. So we can enter that in our formula now. We have two aluminium and three sulfur.